We arrived on Ilos close behind Seren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean data bank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. It's a banger. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago. And every 50,000 years before that. Each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reapers' return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The council. council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. As much as I hate them. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, it would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of them. The other choice? Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Uh, I'm still gonna go with Anderson. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. Thought the Dean is a douche. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the council would rebuild itself. The citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the council would only say I was assigned to clean up duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. And uh, that's pretty much Mass Effect 1, I guess, from that comic. Oh man, what is this? Yeah, this is, uh. This is the inside of Shepard. We have the technology. Has been recovered. We can rebuild him. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Kind of like Deus Ex here, a little bit. Ugh. That heart's a little, a uh, little shriveled there. Alright. Some of these magic little, uh, liquids to get the bloodstream flowing. Alright, alright. The muscles are starting to come back to life a little. Putting in some biotics to keep my spine together. The heart, ah, oh, the heart's in working order. And, gotta be sterile. There you go, at least we're doing that, that's good. Brain function, ocular function, and we're back. 
Look at that. I'm doing okay. My heart's going. My DNA is back. I don't know what that is in the bottom left. And then I'm glad to know my two balls are working. My three balls can merge to two. And here I am. Um. So yeah, I could actually change my shepherd, but since I have him wearing a mask most of the time when he fights, I'm just gonna keep the uh. what I already have, because he's been doing that. Alright, so I have... Hmm. Your achievements give you access to the following bonus powers. Choose one. Alright. Um, I don't really know, because most of these suck, actually. Um, let's see. Do I actually... Hold on. Let's see if it has it. Armor Piercer, Barrier, Slam, Fortification, Gath Shield, Boost, Energy Drain, Reeve... Neural Shock, Shredder Ammo, Warp Ammo, Inferno Grenades, Flashbang Grenades, and Stasis. Uh, it doesn't matter, I'm not gonna use them anyway. Stasis. Sure. Wait, hold on, let me go back. I'm trying to, I'm trying to I don't remember what, what, a lot of these do, what a lot of these do. I know Slam is actually useful, but I usually let my teammates use Slam. I don't really use it. Again, I don't really use any of these. I tried Flashbang in my last game, and it was terrible. I mean, get the shield boost would probably be the most useful of all of them, I guess. Hmm. I tried to Reeve. It, 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 Reeve was alright. Um, yeah, well, whatever. Stasis it is. Sure, whatever. Yeah, that's... I got a feeling I'm going to regret it. Now let's scan him. Yeah, if you've never seen Excal's walkthrough of uh, Mass Effect 2, I really like the way his uh, his uh, shepherd's made. But, you know, whatever, that's another story. I'm not creative. Monica, something's wrong. It's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. <sighs> My god, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Hey, pretty lady. Damn it, Ew. Jason. He's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. <laughs> Shepard, don't try to move. <laughs> I want to touch him. Try to stay calm. I want to touch him. Still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. <sighs> Steps pushing into the red zone. Oh, God. It's not working. Oh. Another oh. dog. Now. Oh. 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 dropping. Steps falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Hey, pretty lady. Hey! I won't touch you. I won't touch you, but... I'm too... I'm so tired. Wake up, Commander. <laughs> I like how I'm wearing the outfit Shepard, from the previous game. Me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Oh, what? Shepard. Oh man, I'm hurt. It's just funny because when you start the game, you actually wear you wear like a, a, a suit, not your. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. What the hell? <laughs> Got it. Wait, does that mean I have? Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the. Ooh, I do. Nice. All right, cool. So now I actually okay. have, I still have. So now I have stasis, as opposed to what I used to. Well, I don't even know what I used to have. Oh, there's my heavy charge. Oh man, and I have my both my infernal ammo and my improved cryo ammo. That is awesome. What are you doing? What are you doing? Can't. <laughs> Explosion. Where'd you run off to? Oh, there you are. Hey, guy. Keep moving. Shut up. Alright, baby. Don't hold. Don't, don't, don't get on crazy now. Hold on. Yeah, so as you can tell, this is the shepherd that I used near the end of the game, so I'll pretty much be using the, the shepherd. Do I have any other guns, too? No, then. I thought maybe they gave me all of my equipment. Shepherd, security makes a closing in on you. Don't take any chances. Stay in cover while you take out those mechs. Or I could just. Explosion! Sit down. Whoa, look at these guys. 
Man, I'm so used to playing this on on insanity that the fact that he can actually take damage is fantastic. 